Greetings! Welcome to Bruce's Eclectic World. And today, on Sunday morning, Model Cars and Coffee, hosted by Paul over at Left Coast Model Builds, we're on episode three, not two, three. <laughs> We're uh, doing something a little different. We got the blue screen over on the other side of the room. I think I got the mic set up enough where we can scoot over here and uh, you can still hear me. Hello? And yes, I got the air conditioner running. I'll try to filter that out. But in today's episode, uh, I want to show off, and I have my coffee here yes we're still using the same cups so these must be the cups we're using now I don't know so this is the I'm gonna move you back over here out of the way oh here we go by the way stop by there over 24 hours great pizza awesome coffee uh, this is the Chris Cortell Appreciation Group build vehicle I'm, I've made. This vehicle is different pieces and parts that I gathered up off of eBay. And I made it all fit together. It's pieces of 29s, 1930s, and I think there's some... 32 stuff in there, and uh, just bits and pieces of everything actually. And I threw it together. Uh, the crane here on the back, I scratch built that crane. I scratch built the push bumpers. The tail lights are. Uh, Yeah, those things, you know. Huh. Old band brain part. Spotlights. And I took and glued uh, taillight lenses on them. The rear tires off of, are off of a uh, Jeep build. A Jeep build that I uh, apparently had at one time long time ago I found I found bits and pieces of it uh, I did, the wheels came off of eBay I don't know have no clue the uh, like I said the push bumper is also from um, a, a scratch built that I built it the uh, bulkhead across the back here is scratch built along with the tank and the control levers. We'll see if we can squish you in here a little bit. As you can see there, the uh, decals, I made all the decals. Uh, the interior is from a, and the cab is, and the hood is from a 32. The fenders is also is a uh, from a thirty, I think. It's just different bits and pieces that I I found. Uh, uh, I made all my decals. Uh, this is uh, fashioned after a Snap-on wrecker I seen a picture of, and uh, let's see if I can scoot you over here just a little bit. There we go, and. Uh, you see it says snap on on there and on the back I have a Chris Cortell let me see if I can squish it in further uh, and of course it's being in green classic plastic 101 appreciation group build <laughs>
like I said, this is a. Uh, these lights are. Uh, Two, um, yeah, <laughs> floodlights I glued together <laughs> made work lights. Uh, oh, the um, let me get you up close here. I see, see the license plate. There we go. I get the shoulder right. That's uh, his Ohio license plate. Custom made. So this whole truck <laughs> is custom made. Uh, it's wired. It's wired to the plastic frame, and we can turn it over so you can see the bottom side. Sorry about the light. Let me see if I turn the light off. If you can still see, Doink. there we go. Uh, I I made this. I don't know what the springs come out of, or the rear end, or any of that stuff. Let me see if I can get the hood off. This long, I don't remember. Uh, 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 nope, it's not coming off. Sorry, I'm not going to squeeze the paint, scratch the paint trying to get it off of there. Stuck on there too well. So, like I said, this was built for uh, Chris Cortell's Appreciation Group build. Uh, while he was fighting his cancer. I had a lot of fun building it. it was, I don't remember what year it was. Let's see. 2000 and... Four, five, six, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, and uh, it's uh, all painted with acrylics. Yeah, this has a uh, quick shine on it. And for those that says it doesn't hold up, hold a shine well. Well, it's not quick shine. This is actually a pledge. Yeah, this has got pledge on it. I forgot what year I'm in. Nowadays it's quick shine, but uh, this has pledge on it. So we got the uh, same license plate on the front there. Uh, these headlights are from something else that I made and molded to fit in there. The grills out of this a thirty-something, along with like I said, the headlights. Uh, there's no turn signals on the front for some reason. Bruce didn't put them on there, but that's okay. They should have been right up here, but they're not. But we're, we're quite proud of it. Uh, well, like I said, once again, that's one of the several builds I've tribute, builds I've, I've done. So, we want to thank uh, everyone for visiting today and watching our model cars and coffee episode. Uh, thank, you, thank you again, Paul, for the Awesome idea. Took me a while to get my head wrapped around the reason for it, but thank you. Um, go out there and watch everybody else's videos. I mean, go on, go on. Get out there, get out there and watch those other videos. There's lots of them out there. I don't get to see them all either. Uh, there's just too many. I just try to pick somebody new every week and watch and come in on theirs because, you know, it's just, you know, when you have 400 subs, <laughs> it's hard to see everybody, but we try. So, 
Thank you, each and every one of you. Remember, save the fingers. Thank you to all the service people. Thank you, all the service people, for uh, protecting this awesome country. And until the next episode of Model Cars and Coffee on Sunday morning, we'll see you later in another video. Bye-bye now.